We're back to our five minute Chinese. Five minute Chinese. Yesterday we learned a little bit time. 昨天，今天，明天，昨天 ，yesterday， 今天 ，today， 明天 ，tomorrow， 天天 ，every day， every day. Today we will learn only one word, one word. But before we learn that new word, I want you listen to some Chinese sentences. Test yourself whether you can by your by your, whether you can follow me. Sentence number one. Sentence number one. 我有一本书。我有一本书。Sentence number two. 他有三本书。他有三本书。Sentence number three. 他们有五本书，他们有五本书。嗯 ，Sentence number four， 我的哥哥有一本中文书，我的哥哥有一本中文书。Sentence number five。我的妹妹有六本书。我的妹妹有六本书。Can you follow me? Can you follow me? Ninety-nine percent. Can you follow me? Ninety percent. Hmm. In all the five sentences, uh, there's one, two words. Appeared every in every sentence. One is "ben," which we haven't learned this one. I said, "Can you follow me?" Ninety-nine percent. Mm -hmm. The other one is "shu," which we did learn in the past, but I'm not sure whether you still remember. "Shu" is this book. Book. Still remember how to say book in Chinese? "Shu, shu, shu, shu." Hmm. Yeah, I said in the sentence number one says. 我有一本书。Still remembers the numbers, the numbers by hand gesture. 一、二、三、四、五。嗯。Sentence number two. 他有三本书。三。Remember in Chinese we don't use this. We use this. 三本书。嗯。Sentence number three. 我的妹妹有。五本书，五本书，嗯 ，always 本。Since number four， 我的哥哥有一本中文书，中文 means Chinese language， 啊哈 ，Chinese language book，Chinese language book， 一本中文书。Since number five， 我的妹妹有六本书 ，remember this gesture six， 六本书。Okay, since we already figured out "shu" is book, what is the "ben"? Um, in all the six sentences, I put the number, either one, two, three, five, or six. Mhm.、Mm、then "shu." So "ben," you can figure out. Oh, it's a measure word. Yes, "ben." It is a measure word on my four books. Mm -hmm. So we don't say 一个书，两个书，三个书。嗯、mm. ，If you say 一个书，两个书，三个书 ，Chinese people can understand you without any problem. But we probably oh, he's just a learner of Chinese, or he's a foreigner. Uh huh. But if you just say 一书，二书，三书 ，Chinese people will totally be lost. What are you talking about? That is how important the measure word it is. Really, if I skip the measure word, Chinese people cannot answer me at all. No, 
we cannot understand you at all if you escape the magic word. But if you put the wrong magic word, like you always put a g, you think, hey, I know, I, sh I know, I should put the magic word there, but I don't know which magic word I should put there. But she told us the most popular one or the most useful one is g. Then let me put a g there. Yeah, you put g there. We cannot stand. We can't understand what you're talking about. But um, if you don't put it there, we cannot understand. So we and like what I said, the measure word is really hard for for foreigners, cause for different nouns, different categories, we use different measure word. It's a memory. It requires requires you to memorize a lot. So I don't want to scare you away. So I will teach you what we meet one thing, and I will not teach you all the measure words. We only learn the most useful one. Like a girl and this button. Button is the only measure word for books. 一本书,两本书. So, hey, what, what is lia? Hmm. Okay, why didn't you say R? Okay, that is what we will talk about tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Today we just know,一本书,三本书,四本书,五本书,六本书. You got it? Button is the measure word only for books. That is all I want you to remember today. 今天, 今天. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you have any question or any advice, please let us know, give us any comments. We really, really value your any comments otherwise. Thank you. 谢谢,